Alrighty guys, opening morning, finally is here, got Jesse with me, Bo's in the back, ready to go, so we're going to head out here to this one hill and just glass out here in the flats and see what we can find this morning, hopefully we can find something good, I don't know if we'll find something to be a first day shooter, but we'll see what we can find, you never know, so Stay tuned guys, we'll see you out there. Alright guys, well, made up here on the hill, the sun's coming up, and we already got like two bucks over here that look pretty decent. The one's like really tall, like thick fork looking thing. Didn't get a real good look at them, they went behind this little hill over here, but they should come out the other side here soon. And then the other one looked like it could have been a nice four by, so they're just on the other side of of a private fence but hopefully maybe they'll come over here but we'll see you guys this is pretty sweet i don't know who's shooting over here but i don't think it's rifle season that's for sure <laughs> all right guys i'll see if i can get some footage of them if they come out they should come out here soon Well, we see a nice, there's a really nice buck over here on the hill, totally a shooter. I would shoot it, Jesse would shoot it. He's not a giant, but he's a really nice buck. Like, he's over 150, probably around 155, I guess. Just a nice four by, and then on his one, on his right side, he's got a nice kicker, like on the inside of his, on the inside of his, right by his fork, he's got a kicker, like right here. And it's probably like that long. <laughs> really nice buck. I got some footage of him. But right now he's on private, but I think that sometime or other he might come over onto public maybe sometime in the hunt. Just because there's fields between him and the. Him and where is he? And where he's at? And the does like to go to the fields. Like a bunch of does came from the fields and then they went up over there on the hill. And then we found him over there. But he might just come over here on this hill that we're on. I don't know. But anyways, he's a pretty nice buck. It's pretty sweet. All right, guys. Well, the big buck is moving our way, but he's going just on the other side of public. <laughs> He might come over here, but all the does are going over there. I'm not sure what they're, where they're going or what they're doing, but hopefully they kind of circle around and come over here. But man, I got buck fever. Jesse's got buck fever. The buck just started moving our way, so I don't know. We'll see what happens, guys. He's getting even closer to us, so maybe I can get some better footage of him. <laughs> Does like right down here. The buck I think bedded over there and farther. But he was chasing the does and the does literally just like went around this hill and the does were right here in public land. Which is good. And I think that buck will probably head over here after a while, but for right now it's just bedded. Those that were right here, they ended up, I think, catching our wind and they spooked out way out in the flats behind us. 
and then shortly after that another huge herd of does and fawns came over here there was like 39 of them they came over here and kind of came up on a hill and went out there in the flats also so but we're, the buck stood up over here and he's out feeding now we're just gonna wait him and another bucket together we're just gonna wait and hopefully lord willing he'll walk this way so we'll see how it goes hopefully yeah if he can come over this way like 500 yards <laughs> but yeah we're just gonna watch him it was kind of cool he got up and raked yucca cactus like crazy it's kind of cool i've got some good footage but we'll see how it goes guys Alrighty guys, well, sun went down, buck is, as far as I know, still bedded, <laughs> got up, walked around a little bit, and laid back down, <sighs> Sleep. we named him Sleepy, <laughs> he's been bedded forever, literally sat on this hill like all day long, waiting for him, this truck came out here, drove around our hill, pretty much, must be some landowner guy because he has a key to a gate down there so he came off of private so I don't know anyways he went way out somewhere else so tomorrow morning I'm not sure what we're gonna do Justin will probably be helping us maybe so I think we'll probably end up end up coming back out here but I'm not for sure I might try a different spot but anyways guys we'll see you probably tomorrow morning so stay tuned guys we'll see you in the morning all right guys we got a nice buck spotted Jesse just spotted him out here he's just on the other side of private but I think he'll work his way this way there's a good chance he's not far from the fence so we're gonna keep watching him I think he's a shooter you think what do you think? I think so. He's Still nice. thinking he's a nice four by, except his fronts are really small. His backs are real big, pretty big, and he's got good frame, nice dark, heavier. He's really wide. And he's got an inline on his left, which is really cool looking. So, if we get a chance, if he comes over into public, we're gonna, I think we're gonna put a stock on him. Sweet. Well, that buck bedded like right on the other side of the private fence and then ended up getting up, going over the fence. Something spooked them and they came over here to this hill, like straight towards our hill and we were kind of stuck. Like they were coming right for us and didn't really give us time to get down to the bottom of the hill. So we started heading around this way, but they ended up just running past the hill, or they seen us up here. Running past the hill and going back on some other private. <laughs> so, he's gone for now. Hopefully we can get him out. Maybe find him another time, but. Glassed up a shed yesterday and I didn't get it picked up, so I can go pick it up real quick. And then we'll probably make a game plan. I don't think there's any, didn't really see any other bucks that we want to go after right now, so. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, let's go pick up that shade. All right, guys, found it. Dude, nice. Dude, yeah, it's not too old either. Sweet. It's been a while since I picked up a good, good shed. Good mule deer shed. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. really recognize the buck but it's a decent buck that's sweet dude, yeah I will take it <laughs> alright guys well we back in the truck we hike back it's a little hike back but anyways we kind of glassed around a little bit more
bugs that way. But I had like two nice bugs like right here. Probably like a 140. And then I don't know what the other 3 by was, but just big white 3 by It was insane. <sighs> but they kind of spooked. I tried this thing. After a while, I was just like, this is ridiculous because the bigger buck was back there and I couldn't really do anything and they were just looking at me, looking at me, looking at me and they wouldn't leave. So I finally just kind of like sat up and started scratching myself like this. And they literally, like even the buck, he came back. He's like 20 some yards right there. <sighs> it's terribly hard because I have to jump the fence. <sighs> I'm not sure what we're going to do next or what our next plan will be but that was insane guys that was so cool how'd you like the show <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy dude oh he was like right behind me like what 150 yards up on this little yeah, dirt dude. mound videoing this whole entire thing like or videoing at least getting really good footage of it all dude yeah <laughs> that my win was bad it was just Every day, come out and smell me and jump back. Come out and smell me, jump back. There is some wide bucks out there. Holy frick. That was insane. Super wide bucks. <laughs> like, the widest there's there's a lot of good shooters in there. I mean, I don't know. There's like that one taller buck that was super close to me. I think he's probably like 140. Four by four. Really? Yeah. Probably. Dude, he was pretty nice. I mean, he's decent. I was like looking at him he right there at like nice 20 yards. <laughs> I was like, is that a bad new book? <laughs> He's got decent for Maybe not 140. But anyways, guys. Hokey Dino, that was crazy. I needed a big old tumbleweed. But still, I needed to get downwind. They cut in before. Because last time I watched them, they went way down farther. And then came in. But they cut in right downwind of me. And it was not good. And I didn't have time to crawl down to that spot. I was right in the open. We gotta make a better plan. Maybe like wait till they get in the field and then try what I did with my other buck. Just like have a huge tumbleweed and you could just sneak all the way up against that fence. I think that would work better than just sitting something. There. We gotta figure something out. That's a giant buck, dude. That thing's ugh, guys, that thing's huge. <laughs> For us out here. So that's a giant. <laughs> Hopefully we get him on trail cam. We put it down there and they're walking down that way, so we can kind of see probably if they come in tonight. <sighs> Alright guys, we're going to head home. Tomorrow's Sunday, so we won't be hunting. And we'll be back out Monday sometime. So, this will probably wrap it up for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. We got all the way till the end of December. And it's only, what, the 12th? 12th, yeah. Yeah. So, we got a lot of time. <laughs> I think we can get it done. We just don't want to spook them too bad that they don't come into the fields. So... Anyway, guys, guys, thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to turn on that notification bell if you to get notified every time I post a video. So, anyways, we'll see you next time, guys.